Hello everyone, welcome to this Cloth Effects 4 demo. I'll be showing you some of the new features that have been integrated to the recent update. If you go ahead and install the new version, Cloth Effects 4 will be located in the Physics tab. And I'm gonna go ahead and subdivide this, so make sure your object has some density so that you get a nice cloth simulation. You now have two different uh, cloth terrain modes, generated and custom. Uh, custom terrain is a feature request that I've been getting lately. I went ahead and included it support within the plugin. So if you click on generate, you have the the usual method for tearing apart your cloth and if you click custom you will be able to draw out your own custom tear maps I've included a pinning editor which allows you to select your vertices edges or faces so it jumps you into edit mode uh, and then once you hit the S key it will go ahead and apply that for you automatically now if you want to tear apart this plane you will need to draw out your own custom map so right here I'm gonna go ahead and draw out this path and this is good for art direction in the visual effects world so once you draw out your your custom map you can hit space to draw a new one and then you hit the S key to confirm so these are uh, these are both modal operators which automatically set everything up for you no need to jump into the cloth or change uh, any settings within the modifiers it all does it automatically for you So now that you have your plane torn up, you can go ahead and add a collider. And the collider object will enable the tearing um, depending on the mode that you set. So if you have mesh volume, it will go ahead and tear your your object apart based on on mesh contact. And if we go ahead and change this to mesh volume, well, if you change it to proximity, it's basically um, enabling the tearing based on the distance. So it depends how how far it is from from the the torn object. If you change the proximity, you can enable tearing based on that distance right here it's not doing much we go ahead and put something like 0 0.5 you can see that it starts to tear apart your object so you can you could change the settings for the collider object um, and set it depending on what the case that you are you are trying to achieve if I go ahead and set this to something like 2 you'll see that it doesn't even it doesn't even touch the, the torn object it enables it based on that the settings you provide so something like five go ahead and enable the tearing and you can change you can choose what mode you want so if you want to enable tearing based on a particle system you can do that as well or uh, do both mesh contact and proximity 
can also do object center, but um, this is only if if um, you are turning your object and you want the collider to to be right at right where you you want to begin the tearing. So I've I've simplified the cloth settings within this small panel you have both general and advanced these are basically the settings that are in the cloth modifier and I've also included this side option bar just to make it a lot more easier for you you can also preview the tears by enabling this icon Now it doesn't have to be, you can add as many as much detail as you want so it doesn't have to be just straight lines or, or paths. You can also include more detail to your turn simulation. You could jump back to it and add more um, detail so that you get a nice tearing simulation. We'll go ahead and add these zigzag jagged cuts and then if I hit the S key it will go ahead and apply that for you now you'll see that there's a lot more detail within the the edges now for the in dynamic inflate modifier It won't work with objects that are open or, or or objects that aren't don't have volume. So if, if you go ahead and add a UV sphere, you will be able to inflate your object. So if we go ahead and hit custom again. And then you enable dynamic inflate. You will notice that it starts to inflate. So it, I included a simulated approach rather than having a animated um, method. That way you get more realism when exploding your objects or just having fun destroying and creating um, destructive effects in Blender. You can set the start and end frame, the strength, to change the seed, and the length of the um, the inflation. So once you once you simulate your inflated object and it has reached its peak, you can go ahead and bake that modifier. And you could either use a collider to enable the, the popping effect. I forgot. I forgot to tear. So I'll go ahead and add some some random tear maps. The S key. And then I'm going to go ahead and pin this. I'm going to pin the top. So I'm going to select the top and the bottom. I hit the S key and then okay, but nah. okay it's because I baked it. So once you have that, you go ahead and I'm going to change this to mesh volume so that when I size this collider out, it enables the, the tearing and gives it that popping effect. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pick that. 
And now we go ahead and size this out. We can get a very nice exploding effect. Now of course you can bake this on top baking the inflate modifier. I try to make this as as um, as dynamic as I can so that you can art direct your your simulations a lot better. Now if we go ahead and another thing you can do is I may automate this later on, but another thing you can do is you can enable selection for your original sphere. So this is a this is a domain that drives the the cloth because the the torn object is static, and then you use the original to drive the cloth simulation. So if we go ahead and enable make collider and then change this to proximity smooth and bring this down you'll notice that you can pop your objects by changing by scrubbing through the parameter the proximity parameter So depending on when you want it to pop, you can go ahead and just change the this option. And then we'll go ahead and explode it for you. Go ahead and take that. So you, you can do a lot, you can make, create a lot of effects with this. Um, I will be automating. Uh, adding making the original collider so you could have more control over it when you want the object to explode that is all for this demo i will be posting a more detailed tutorial later on and i'm working on documentation right now for version 4 i i hope you guys enjoy the new features um, and the new simplified ui design if you guys have any questions or any issues, please contact me through Blender Market Messenger or you can also email me at animationsvfx at gmail.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.